normal stuff. Um, oh, I need a scissors. Anyway, while I'm rummaging, um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's not always this crazy, but 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 they they reinforced the thread. Look, it's the sticky tape with those threads in it. So I'm trying to find scissors, something sharp. I apologize for my slack. Oh, I hate being unprepared. I do. All right. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe. Ring the bell for a notification when I post. And I'm trying not to cut myself now. Um, and yes, <laughs> I'll see you slightly less crazy. All right. Knit crate. Holy cow. Right. I think this is the January box. It's been here for a few days. Um, and what we get in this is a card. And this says tea time. Um, okay. Uh, you can download the patterns and the full digital booklet from Nick Strait. Here, hit pause. And you can grab those details. You can scan that QR code. Or you can go to knitcrate. Actually, you might not be able to if you're not a subscriber or a login or whatever. But anyway, November 21 tea time is the page. So there are knit, crochet, and socks. So there's the yarn of the month and the sock yarn. So these are the cro the knit or crochets and these are the socks so it's much finer let's see so you get this wrapped in the gorgeous um color Ooh, holy cow wow this is super chunky and oh, ooh, it's super soft oh my lord um i don't want to do that Okay, look at that. And it's got speckles. It's got teal speckles and it's got red speckles like my nails and it's purple. Okay, this is Huakaya alpaca. This is called butterfly pea flower. It's Huakaya alpaca. It's Suri alpaca. It's Stellina. Uh, barely. Okay. And it's super bulky weight. Okay. It's gorgeous. And look, you get a little bonus tea. It feels, it's not sealed, so let me crack it open. I don't know if it's a tea bag or if it's loose tea. Oh, if, I, if, is it sealed? Maybe it is sealed. No, it's not back in, it's, sorry. It's heat sealed, not um, zip locked. It says, it's a Pai, Pai Mu Tan white tea, Salon black tea, Chinese green tea, almond and coconut flakes, cinnamon chips infused with chocolate, holy cow, and hazelnut almond flavors. And it's by Tea with Tay in Lakewood, Colorado. It's one tea sachet. Okay, so there's a tea bag in there and it's three strong, which means it'd be a daytime tea for me. I have a two time a too strong caffeine at night. But tea with tay. Yum. The white tea salon. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, of course, with Nick Crate, you get two of these. Okay. And super bulky. That would make a gorgeous, chunky scarf. I have no idea what they... Well, one is... They're spruiking a kind of cowl. And the other one... Oh, it's a hairband. This is a hairband, this is a cowl, and there's alpacas flying. Okay. Um, wow. It's really soft. You can see a little bit of the sparkle. It's not quite as sparkly as I've had others with Stellina in them. And case in point being, it's over there, my I always get the name wrong. Spiraling Cables Triangle, I think is the order of the words. I think it's Spiraling Cables Triangle. And there's another one which is, it's a Stephen West, anyway. And the, you'll see photos on my 
um, Instagram. I literally just got it off needles last week. Um, and I used the grey with the Stellina in as my main colour. So everything kind of sparkles through it. And then you've got the pattern, which is just fantastic. Um, it's so amazing. And it's stinking hot here. So it's summer. And I can't wear it yet. So it's finished. It, it's all finished and it's beautiful. And when I was binding off, it's all knit crate stuff. Um, when I was binding off, I got a bit of a twist into the um, border because I was picking up stitches maybe that I didn't need to be. So it's it's got a bit of a tension thing. So I need to wet it and block it. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I have all my wools over here now. Oh, okay. You see those boxes? You see those boxes? You're probably going to get drowned out by that light. But look, look, look. See those yarns? This is my other super chunky in here. And, well, disregard. I'm kind of wondering. Ooh, help. There we go. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I tease this out. If... See, this is a porcelain, super bulky, and this is a super bulky, and they're both perfect, and, you know, they will really work together. I don't know how far they'd go with a jumper, but for a scarf. So, between the the two lots of balls. I never told you the length. Hang on. Um, the length of this is, yes, yeah, it's only 50 metres. It's not far. You can't do much with these. 100 meters. Now, if you are struggling for patterns, of course, you can go on to Ravelry and you can key in your length. You can key in your wool and you can filter the patterns for that. So go and check out Ravelry. You can have a free account with them and get their free patterns or you can buy the patterns. I have bought and then downloaded it and store a backup on my Google Drive in a knitting folder. So there you go. Gorgeous purple. And then of course you can reuse your box. I've actually turned a lot of them inside out and they're brilliant for storage for pretty much anything. And then this baby is going to go over here with the rest of its twins being super chunky. Super chunky will go with the super chunky. And um, yeah, I'll fill up my boxes. I've actually got four boxes that are open to the world. Um, that I can see the colors. I've generally got two colors of each um, because Knit Crate gives you two colors. Although initially when I did start, which was a stupid me kind of thing, I had actually subscribed to two boxes. So I was getting four. <laughs> yeah. um, so if you want to do that, link will be in the description for that and you can check out Knit Crate. Um, you also get bonus points for being a customer and you can use those towards any of the flosses and yarns that are in the store as well um and i think if you use my link you get five dollars off your first box and i get a bit of a thank you as well for them from them for having you subscribe uh anything else um you can choose your colors that you get and you can choose whether you get the sock finish or whether you get any of the others. So you will get anything from fingering right up to the super bulky. And you get projects as well. You get a knit or a crochet project that you get links to. Um, or you get the sock projects. And the sock projects, socks scare me. I've said this before. But you can get the sock projects. And if you want to give them a go, apparently they're quite easy. Um, if you talk to people who are braver than me. But um, I'm quite picky with my socks. They need to stay up on my feet or on my ankles or on my legs. Um, and I don't like these. Unless they're purposely slouchy, I don't like them. When they're meant to be up, they should stay up. And if they don't stay up, it irks me. And when you're wearing boots, you do not want the sock slopping down into the foot and coming off the heel. And just, no, sorry, can't do it. So, yeah, I've. And knitting socks with four needles just like, ah, yeah, very much scares me. Rachel tells me I shouldn't be scared of it. And I had one of my son's girlfriends, she used to knit socks all the time. And um, she was a gun. I, I just don't know how she does it. So, yeah, um, 
check them out if you want more info and i will see you around on the tubes bye for now